So here's our ideal gas law, PV equals nRT. This is going to be one of the most important equations that you'll need for AP chemistry. So let's just define the variables before we jump into um, doing a practice problem. So P stands for pressure, easy enough. And that is usually measured in atmospheres. We can also measure that in units called tor and a couple of others, but these are basically the ones that you'll see like on the AP exam, on the SAT, and V stands for volume. That's going to be measured in liters. Now N is number of moles, and that's just going to be moles for the um, units. R is a constant. Um, its units are liter atmosphere over mole times Kelvin. And this uh, value, the value for R, since it's a constant, is 0 0.0821 if you're talking about atmospheres. It's something different for um, liter tor over mole Kelvin, but I just memorized this one. And if you need to, you could just um, convert it to tor by using this conversion factor. 760 tor for every one atmosphere. So these would cancel out and leave you with liter tor over mol mole kelvin. Last of all, we have T, which stands for temperature. And that's going to be measured in kelvins. So this is the tricky part, because usually a problem will give it to you in Celsius, but you'll have to add 273 to that to get it to kelvins. That's usually the case. Now give me a second and I'll get you an example problem. Okay, I just got this one from online. A rigid 8.2 liter flask contains a mixture of 2.5 moles of hydrogen, 0.5 moles of oxygen, and AR, which the partial pressure is 2.00 atmospheres. The temperature in the flask is 127 degrees Celsius and calculate the total pressure in the flask. So what we need to do is we're already given the partial pressure of argon, which is two atmospheres. So we need the pressure of um, H2 and the pressure of O2 and the pressure of AR. And that's going to give you the total pressure in the flask. We're already given this, so we don't need to worry about it. Now, for the pressure of H2, Let's go back to our ideal gas equation, PV equals nRT. So to solve for pressure, we just divide both sides by volume, and we get P equals nRT over V. Now we could just plug and chug and solve for the um, pressure of H2. So N stands for number of moles, and it says we have 2.5. R is 0 0.0821 when we're dealing with atmospheres. Um, temperature is 127 plus 273, because remember, we need to convert that to kelvins. That will give us um, 400 kelvins. Uh, actually, you don't need to write that. And divide that by volume which is um, 8.2 liters. So we have 2.5 times 0 0.0821 times 400 over 8.2, which is basically 10. Okay, so the partial pressure of H2 we found out is 10 atmospheres. Now we can do the same thing for um, oxygen. Let me keep the ideal gas law there. Um, okay, so this is two. Argon is two atmospheres. And now oxygen, let's do the same thing. P equals nRT over V. That's going to give us um, 0.5 moles for N, 
R is 0 0.0821. Temperature is 400 as well because 127 plus 273 is 400. And then volume is still 8.2 liters. So now we have 0.5 times 0 0.0821 times 400 divided by 8.2 is basically 2. Now we have the partial pressure of H2 is 10 atmospheres. Partial pressure of oxygen is 2 atmospheres and partial pressure of argon is 2 atmospheres, giving us a total of 14 atmospheres. Oops. And that's how you use the ideal gas law.